Hi guys, today I will show you how to make viral edits for your TikTok, for YouTube or for Instagram. It is important to know that this will be a simple edit without any complex effects, but I plan to make a second part if you get 5000 likes. I know the number is huge, but the second part will be much better. There I will show you how to work with 3D text, make different transitions, photo effects and much more. That's it, I won't distract you anymore, let's go to After Effects. The most important and at the same time difficult thing is to come up with an idea for edit. It may appear spontaneously or if it is very difficult for you to come up with it, at first you can simply repeat other people edits. This will allow you to improve your editing skills and also improve your imagination. Uh, you can also add something of your own to the someone else edit, which will be even better. When you finally come up with an idea for your edit, you need uh, scenes in good 4K quality, because an edit in poor quality will not attract attention. There are many Discord servers with many scenes in 4K quality, you can write to me in Discord and I can add you there. I already have a simple idea for an edit that will look like this. Unfortunately, due to copyright, I cannot include an edit with music, but as soon as this tutorial comes out, this edit will already be on the channel. When you come up with an idea, you need to take some music that will suit to edit. When you do this, first of all, click on the arrow here, then open waveform and place the dots where the bits are. The waves will help you with this. Uh, where they are higher, it means there is an impact and there will be a change of frames. In general, it's best to use headphones when you do this. To put a point like I do, you need to click on the star on your keyboard. I hope you all understand what I mean and what I say, since my English is not very good, so I translated some things in Google Translator and I don't know if it translates correctly. Once you have your bits dotted, you need to select the clips for your edit. I usually open Steam Packs, look through them and write down the time in a notebook. So I open the film, let's say I like this moment, I look at what time it takes place and write this time down in a notebook. I do this for all moments. The number of points you have on the timeline is the number of moments you need. Usually it's around 16. After that you add steam packs to the program, find all these moments and cut it to your points. When you have done it, turn on this option for your clips, but be careful because this weird glitch will appear. To fix it, just cut off when it start happens and turn off this option. Next you need to work with each moment separately. Let's move on to the first clip. Align the position so that the character is in the center. You can also add head tracking, which will visually improve your edit. I have a tutorial on my channel on how to do this, so for those who don't know how to do it, go watch it and then come back. Then press the right mouse button, choose precompose the clip, but don't forget to put a tick here. Now you will need Vickstore, also all these plugins you can find in Discord servers. Uh, tutorial also is available in my channel. Add Vickstore, here put contrast edge enhance, and here put motion weighted blend. Now put the cursor at the beginning of your clip, click on clock, go to the center of your clip and put 30. Then go to end of your clip and again put 100. Press U on your keyboard, select the keys and press F9 to easy easy them. Go to graph and repeat my graph. Now you just do it for each of your clips. If you add head tracking, add uh, to your clip's motion tile with these settings because if you won't do this, black bars will appear and it will look weird. Then when you go to other moments, you can just copy Twixer from your previous clip 
and add here. Like you again pre-compose clip, select your previous one, press U, select Vixor, press Ctrl C, go to your second clip, pre-compose it, put cursor at the beginning of the moment and press Ctrl V. When you finished this part you will need some zooms, this will improve your edit and make it more dynamic. Tutorial is also available on my channel, link you can find in the description. But here I will show you more sharp zoom than in my tutorial. Select your first fixed moment and here click right mouse button and choose create an adjustment layer. Cut to fit your Twixer scene, go to Effects and find Transform, add to your clip. Remove the tick here and here put 360. Put the cursor at the beginning of your adjustment layer, put here 130 and click on clock. Then go to end of adjustment layer and put 100. Press U, select the keys and press F9. Open graph and repeat my graph. Now you have this zoom effect. You can play with it and make it in or out as you like and you can also play with value for your zooms. When you did it, render your edit. To do this you will need a coder or a Media encoder, because standard After Effects AVI format will weigh too much and to avoid this you will need MP4 format. Tutorial on how to render your edits with vocoder is already on my channel, link you can find in the description. On this timeline you select the start of the render and its end. Then go to File, Export, Add to Render, Output model and in format choose one coder. After that, click on format options and choose this format. And then click render. After rendering is completed, go to Tapas Video Enhance, put your video and put these settings. Or you can use your own and click Start Processing. sound quality. 
Then you find moments where your character says something and create text layer. Click on text layer and write what your character says. Go to effects and find slow fade on. How to make this animation you can find also on my uh, channel. You can also add some scale and position effects like I do. When your text is ready, add deep glow and drop shadow with my settings. I also use my presets for text, which you can find in my pay hip. There you can also find my edit pack, link will be in the description. Then you add CC to your edit and it's ready. You have smooth and viral edit for your TikTok, YouTube or Instagram. If this tutorial was helpful for you and you want second part with complex effects, I will wait when this video will get 5000 likes and immediately start making the second part. Thanks for your attention, see you soon guys!